Welcome back to part three of my Alakana Gujar game. In the last part, my grandfather, our first character, passed away, and we have inherited the land on seven-year-old Alakana II. Uh, our father, our original character's primary heir, was murdered. Uh, he managed to have a wife before he died, or excuse me, have a kid before he died with his wife, uh, who is a genius and passed on the genius trait to our to his son, who is now our current character. Um, so in this part, I'm probably not going to be expanding too much. I'm going to be going through Mahasamanta Alakana II's childhood, hopefully getting some good traits, uh, hopefully not having any revolts. Um, okay, so I can throw these down. Our current heir is our uncle, and I believe our other uncle is right here. Um, they both might try something. They both might try something. I'm not sure. This guy, uh, I definitely got to get him on my council here. Oh yeah, this guy's not even good at it. Uh, try to make him like us. He's he's my player heir, so I'll be playing as him if my um, current character gets murdered. But hopefully not. He is calm and trusting, but he's cynical. We'll see. Uh, the council looks good. Let's have a look at the rest of our vassals. I don't think any of them are quite good enough. I don't like putting people on my council unless they have uh, 15 ability. Um, so he's my heir, but I'm also his heir. If we can make something happen against either of our uncles, we will inherit their land, which will be good for us. Oh, like, I'm seven and I can already hold six domain, which my previous character, I, I believe, could only hold three. Um, so I want to start getting these uh, titles back from my vassals and hold all this duchy myself eventually. Uh, but anyways, let's continue on. Um, I gotta find someone to educate me, which I believe I'm just gonna choose my mom. She's 53 uh, and infirm already, but she does have some health benefits, so maybe she'll last. But I believe that genius does make you a better guardian. Uh, I don't think we want to become her culture, or religion. Frontier warriors, what are these? Oh, interesting, heavy cavalry. Uh, not particularly my thing. If it was uh, a really strong culture, maybe if she was uh, Iranian, Persian, I would consider it because I love the Persian culture since the rework. Uh, and then we could hybridize Punjab and Persian, but she's not, so we'll just let that one go. Uh, I think I'm just going to negotiate an alliance with my uncles, uh, whoever is willing to become. So he's my heir, so he's willing to do it. It looks like he's not quite, he doesn't, he's not too fond of me. Yeah, and he's a claimant. Uh, he'll give in eventually soon, though. The um, short reign duration will go down. I'm hoping and praying that my character doesn't get murdered, which is very possible. Our spymaster doesn't even like us. Oh no. Oh wait a minute. Is she the one that murdered my father? No, she just murdered someone else. Okay. I'm almost tempted to offer her money or maybe see if we have another spymaster who could be decent. Um... Just like get some random guy in our court. Yeah, I can't really get a good one. If my mother gets remarried. Still 14 is only the best. She's a good spy master, but she just doesn't like me very much. I'm tempted to try to convert her, but it's less than 50% to even happen. Because she's zealous. Okay, so they're pushing my aunt's claim against me. I, I should have been paying attention to this. It's only two of them. Uh, so it's this guy here who holds two counties, and this guy here who holds three. Um, so they're actually going to be more powerful than me. He's got 917, I have 922, and I believe this is including my current levies that I'm getting from him, which I won't be getting once he rises up against me. I'm only allied with my uncle. Uh, I should have formed some other alliances, or, or I guess they're not willing to do it. Uh, not him. My uncle-in-law. See, like, these are the people that I want alliances with that I can't get. Uh, these are who my, well, I guess my aunt's uh, married. 
Uh, so this is a bit of a problem. We do have some gold, so we can hire mercenaries. Um, we do also have a mother who I believe that we could form an alliance with, maybe? I guess because she is um, infertile and lowborn, she's not exactly a uh, prize match. Yeah, there's no one else that we can form alliances with right now. Uh, <laughs> this guy's in a liberty faction, so thankfully he didn't join the same faction. Uh, obviously, we're, we're not going to give in to this. I will not be threatened. I would become a vassal of my aunt. And then she's only 19. She's Her kids would be in his family. Um, so yeah, it's just super messy. I have to beat them in this war. So this guy's the war leader, I believe. Oh no, the guy down here is. Okay, that's actually better for us. So I'm going to raise up right on his doorstep. And just go in and attack him. And I think I'm going to hire some mercenaries too. So he's got pikes, which are special bowmen, and then bowmen. Yeah, these guys are archers. Okay. So if we can hire some like horses like this, um, they counter archers. And what does this guy have? Pikes and onagers. So yeah, a lot of archer units. I think we just hire the horses. We could hire uh, a little bit more horses and some pikes. Maybe I like that. 387. That might be overkill. Let's try to go for the cheaper option here. We can always hire more if we need to. Uh, so I'm going to try to engage him here. Oh wow, did he hire mercenaries as well? That's crazy. He might get here in time. Oh, I caught him before his other army got here. That's perfect. That couldn't have worked out any better. Okay. <laughs> that went a lot better than I expected it to. Okay, so we get a wet nurse back since we're a child. Um, and, like, we have our limited crown authority, so we can just straight up revoke from these guys already. Like, it's perfect. Yeah, this is, like, this is the worst. Uh, he's just revolted against me, and I can only revoke one of his titles. I, I think I'm just going to do both, but I might not do it right away. Um... So yeah, we take that. And then again, it's tyranny. So if I revoke, 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 then it's 60 tyranny. Um, maybe I just go full send on the tyranny, actually. I'm, I'm kind of thinking about it. This guy we have an alliance with, he can't join a faction against us. He could still try to murder us or something, but he can't join a faction. And then if these two both join factions, because they're going to hate us because of the tyranny then they're going to revolt, and I'm just going to revoke theirs as well. Um, we'll have a lot of tyranny, but I'm not going to have any vassals to worry about anyway once I revoke all the land, so I don't think it's going to be that big of a deal. Uh, so I think I'm just going to go all in on the tyranny here, and you know what? Can I execute you? Oh, I'm going to get a lot of stress from this, though. I've, I've learned I've learned this. <laughs> um, my, my guardian's going to show me them being executed, and it's going to stress me out. Uh, so I think all these guys have minus 60 of me now from all the tyranny. It'll go down, though. Not too big of a deal. The only really bad thing is if one of my uncles murders me, which is possible. Um, so I want to hold everything in my home duchy. I'm one over the limit right now. I'm probably going to get more stewardship, uh, so I can just hold one extra for now, I think is fine. Just trying to decide what I want to do with these idiots. I kind of want to execute them. 100 gold, though. 200 gold, though. Or I can make them give up their claim. Yeah, I think I'll just take the gold. Be gone with you, traitors. 
Uh, he'll be in alliance with me now. Okay, let's do that. Okay. Well, certainly a lot more powerful now that we got uh, seven holdings instead of two. Yeah, the only concern now is just my uncles, really. Uh, this guy's not happy at all with me, but <laughs> what is he going to do? Yeah, he's still in the Liberty Faction. No one else can join it because I'm allied with both of my uncles now, so not really a big deal. Okay. Um, I have quite a bit of gold, actually. I think I'm going to switch and start doing this. Oh, dear. This guy's bullying me? I'm going to pay you five gold to bog off. So he's stronger than me, it looks like. 9% um, chance I just die. 42% chance he becomes my bully. This doesn't seem very good. I think I just go for this. Five gold's nothing, and then hopefully he just doesn't become my bully. Uh, looks like we got away with it. You can get really bad events in your childhood when you have a bully that lead to bad traits, so I'd rather avoid that. My regent, just not, not super happy with me. He'll get over it, though. Stewardship by one. Better education. Stewardship by one and better education, or just better education. Uh, I think I'm just going to go for it. Like, I'm okay taking the stress. Uh, oh yeah, I gotta do this on each character. I don't want to notify when it becomes available, because it's every two years. Uh, I guess I could do this to get enough stewardship to hold. But I kind of like this one. I can get a small health boost. Yeah, maybe I'll do that. Let's get the health boost for now, while we're in our childhood. Just in case. And then I'll have it remind me, and I'll switch uh, when I become an adult figure out what I want to do. Yeah, I gotta remember to do that when I take over on each new character. So content is like more common in our culture. It's also virtuous in our religion. So we're gonna get this these choices a lot. Um, I think that content is a fine trait, but I kind of don't like it just because it's usually picked against other kind of weak traits or like, not weak, but like middling traits. And I'd rather get better traits than these, so that's kind of why I don't like Content too much. Uh, I think I'm just going to give in and take it, though. It's better because it's a virtuous trait for us, and then we're not going to have another option pop up with Content anyway. So that's fine. Not a bad trait. Can't be too upset about that. Uh, I just need to figure out what I'm going to do with my gold... Uh, I don't think I need to learn her language for 120 stress. No, no, thank you. Okay, so these guys actually have small harbors built along the river. That's nice. Uh, oh, pretty nice buildings here, too. That's in my home duchy, right? Yeah. What do you have? Nice. Uh, I think I'm just going to keep building in my capital. Prioritize that. I guess I could pool my gold for now. Um, I'm going into stewardship education, which means I'm probably going to do architect, which means I'll be able to build them for cheaper a little bit more into the future. Although at a certain point you get so much gold that it just kind of feels like you need to spend some. Yeah, all my mares hate me, but they're not really going to do anything. I guess once I get all this land under me, I can uh, switch all these guys to make sure that they're my religion and culture. Okay, Wards and Wardens event here. Humble or arrogant, or I can just pass on it. I don't love either of these. Humble's okay. I'm pretty sure if I pass, I'm still going to get three. It's not like I give up a trait forever. Let's just, let's just have a look, because that's a special event. Usually you get your uh, traits at 9, 11, and 13, and it just gave me a choice at 10. 
Uh, sometimes those can give you really good ones, though. It'll, like, do you want to be brave or craven? And I'm like, okay, I'll, I'll take brave. That's fine. Um, but yeah, arrogant and uh, humble. I'm not too keen on either of those. Hopefully you can do better. So neither of these guys are married yet. Neither of them have kids yet. So I will inherit their land if something happens to them. Each time we gain a new year, each time I age, um, there's a chance that your stats just go up. So we just need one more stewardship to hold this 7 out of 7. Okay, I like this. Just, greedy, and callous. Just is the best trait here for my money. Uh, and it's a trait that I like playing with, so I'm okay with that. Also gives me the stewardship that I kind of needed there. Almost done converting here. I'm going to try to convert all this land eventually. Kind of make this the home of smartism. Uh, hopefully we can eventually expand in this direction and gain a holy site. Health, small boost. That would actually be pretty nice. Actually, haven't looked at my holy sites, what they do yet. Oh wow, I have a lot, actually. Oh wow. Wow, wow, wow. I didn't know that was possible. I thought they all had five. Well, there you go. Extra martial, extra stewardship, extra diplomacy, extra learning, two extra learning. Which one's that? That one over there. Okay. Some pretty good benefits here, actually. 10% night effectiveness, too. And piety per night. A small boost to health. 15% fertility. Wow! There's some nice benefits here. Uh, there's some smart smarta up here as well. That's interesting. So this sways towards him, but I lose some stress. Or it sways towards him a lot, but I gain this for 10 years. Fellow vassal opinion. So this isn't my vassals, this is my fellow vassals in this weirdly shaped kingdom. So it goes to self-interested. I'm not a huge fan of that. I, I think I'm going to take this option here. It only swings 5 in his direction. Let's have a look at the scales of power. Still not too bad, actually. Uh, I think I'll spend some gold and swing in a little bit. He wants this person to be my guardian. She's actually got a lot of learning, but... Oh, he's trying to convert my religion and culture, too. No. Um, okay, so he's trying to reconquer this land. I kind of thought that this might break up, but it seems like he's kind of regaining control of the area. We'll be able to uh, get our independence eventually. Pretty big kingdom here next to him, actually, too. These are all kingdoms here. Interesting. Not this again. 9% chance I die. Yeah, I'm just gonna pay him. Seems like we're getting lucky. Uh, so this guy here is a fellow vassal, so we can take his land pretty easily. And then this is what's left over of that guy who originally started with this land here. Still don't have access to Holy Wars. I'm not really sure exactly why. Uh, I don't play in this religion very often, so I'm not sure. Maybe you're just not able to Holy War? I gain a pet dog. Swings in his favor. Yeah, I'll take the dog. That's fine. Amiable? Sure. Uh, and we'll just pet our dog on cooldown. Um, I guess I should probably learn his language here, hey? He's my liege, and we're still a kid, and you learn languages a little bit easier, it feels like, when you're a kid. Kashmiri language, that's another different language. Okay. So they're just the ones to the north of us. So there he goes. He wins that again. He's still missing some duchies in the area, but kind of getting it back under control. Uh, I'm old enough to sway now, so... Oh yeah, I can't do that while I'm learning language, though. Duh. Okay. Let's just keep converting our counties, then. 
She still hates me. I guess it's from the tyranny. Well, it's almost the third gone. We got to 16. We're down to 45 now, so not too bad. Keep raising the control in all of these as well. That's going to get our income up even more. Uh, I'm going to keep upgrading these buildings, I think. I guess I should save my money. Yeah, let's just wait. Just a few more years. Uh, we should get another trait here soon. Hopefully a decent one. So this guy actually likes me quite a bit now. So we get lustful or chaste. We get lustful and a crush on her. My mother. Whoa. No? <laughs> That's weird. Who's she sleeping with? My my sure veer. This is my knight. <laughs> I mean, good for them. But I don't think I'm going to get a crush on her. Uh, do I go for lustful or chaste? These are not sinful or pious traits in this religion. Um, they're really close. They're, they're both quite good. I kind of like the learning more um, than the intrigue. Having extra fertility is never really a bad thing. Having a little bit less, on the other hand, is not really a bad thing either. Uh, usually you're going to have a few kids anyway with your wife. I think I'll go lustful, actually. Yeah, let's go lustful. Get, get all of our stats into double digits. Feels really good. Uh, our learning's already very high anyway, so... My grandmother is still alive, too. Jeez. And she's not even in my court? What are you doing? What else do you got going on? Okay, so this is already half done. A couple more years. How's this going? Can't swing it again. Oh, just another month. Okay. I think I'll probably swing it one more time. Piety? That's kind of expensive. Can't even do the prestige. Okay. Yeah, that's the last time I'm going to do that. And then I'm sure that we can uh, dismiss him pretty easily once we become an adult. Okay. The walking dog benefit gave us good health now. I probably don't need the extra stewardship. Our education is going to get us enough to hold one more, which will be this. And then eventually we're going to go down... Why can't I look at the trees? Eventually I'm going to go down Architect uh, to the second bottom trait, which gives us two more holdings. And then eventually I'll take these two for my uncle, and then I'll be able to just hold everything here. Uh, I will give stuff away eventually. But it's kind of nice to just be able to hold everything. Uh, I don't really want my uncles to hold this land. Oh, he might actually die. Severely injured. Of course my dog will join me. Uh-oh. <laughs> okay. Uh, so the AI is actually kind of smart. Like, he took the same benefit as me. He's, he's hurt, so he took the health benefit. It's interesting. This guy hasn't even done it yet. Come on, dude. Shape up. Sixty percent. Who's this? Oh, this is my uh, like physician and uh, bishop guy. He's very old, so I don't care too much about his opinion of us. He's still not in poor health, though. Do I want to pay him though? I mean, I have a lot of gold. Sure, let's just go for it. Whatever. Keep raising the control. Our income is already massive. This is why stewardship is just so unbelievably powerful. Uh, the control level isn't even maxed in all these places. And then on top of that, I'm going to be able to hold even more land. Like, I'm still a kid and I can already hold seven. It feels like a lot. Oh, support from Regent. That's going to go away. Right. And we're getting a lot from him. Um, but, like, we're, we are going into stewardship, so we're going to lose his... Uh, but we're going to gain our own benefit. So it should still work out kind of even. 
fortune builder. There we go. Uh, yeah, so 7 out of 8 now. And I guess we just go to main focus. Um, gonna go down architect. Honestly, like, divided attention is by far the strongest perk in the entire game, in my opinion. And probably should just be nerfed down to one, and it would still be one of the better traits, if not still the strongest trait. I can just foresee them eventually nerfing this, because it, it feels, like, way too strong. Uh, but, you know, while it's here, we're gonna enjoy it, so... I'm gonna go down Architect. Uh, now that I'm an adult, I think I will get rid of the Devotee of Vishnu and go for something else. Um, we can grab extra stewardship, but I, I'm not really sure that I need it. And the 5% tax isn't bad either, but I kind of am partial to this one. Four stats overall, and diplomacy and learning are both pretty good. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to go for that. Good to know that it costs 500 piety, though. Good to know. I did not know that. Uh, so we're in like a piety deficit, so I'm probably going to end up going on a pilgrimage here pretty quick just to get myself out of that deficit. Uh, so yeah, losing him got rid of two. We can always get a wife. What? I don't even know who you are, man. My rival? <laughs> Why? This guy's like beefing with a child. Oh, my aunt slept with his sister's husband. So she cheated on her husband with this king's sister's husband, and then this idiot is, like, taking it out on me. Uh, I'm not, I don't really need to beef with them over that. Good to actually understand the backstory of why that happened. Um, yeah, I'm going to continue this on in the next one, probably find a wife, uh, maybe do a little bit of expanding, definitely go on some type of pilgrimage. Uh, might do the university visit too, I assume that we have a bunch nearby if we have a whole bunch of holy sites. Yeah, look at all these, nice. Okay, that's good. Good to know. Thank you for watching this though. Uh, if you enjoyed it, please subscribe and leave me a thumbs up, and I will see you in the next one.